story time, ladies and gentlemen. Growing up, Uncharted was a beloved game series for me. I remember renting Uncharted 2 from Blockbuster and falling in love with that action cinematic masterpiece of a video game. Then I went and rebought Uncharted 1 and I was in falling in love of anticipation for Uncharted 3. It got better and Uncharted 4 was even better. So the Uncharted video game series has been very, very loved by me. And I remember a decade ago when they talked about having Mark Wahlberg stars Nathan Drake in an Uncharted movie. I wanted that movie so bad because I actually really like Mark Wahlberg. And now in 2022, we have Peter Parker, aka Tom Holland, as Nathan Drake. And I have a lot of things to say about this movie. Uncharted stars Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg and is about Nathan Drake and his wise-cracking partner Victor Sully Sullivan embark on a dangerous quest to find the greatest treasure never found. Walking into the movie theater, I had a lot of hype going in because it's such a beloved franchise of mine, but I know video game movies usually don't work out pretty well, so I was like scared at the same time, but I can come out and say to you guys, I think general audiences and a lot of people that are just don't even know of the video games are probably going to really enjoy this movie. So in that mindset, it's an enjoyable adventure. National Treasure meets Indiana Jones meets Uncharted. And it's a fun movie for those general audiences. For me, as a beloved fan, I left very disappointed in many of just... Things that could be better. Starting off with the positives is the biggest surprise of Tom Holland as Nathan Drake. He was a big question mark when I heard he got cast as Nathan Drake. I first thought, oh no, everyone's going to see Peter Parker slash Spider-Man, but I'll give him credit. Even though the dialogue and the script really does help, I saw the essence of a young Nathan Drake. And with him being very much Spider-Man, I didn't see Peter Parker as Spider-Man. I did see a young adventure thief, and I enjoy his performance. I think a young Nathan Drake, when he grows up and gets older, if they do make a franchise out of this, he's just going to get better, if you ask me. I mean, he, he had the essence of Nathan Drake. I mean, he's no Nolan North. I mean, no. I mean, come on now. He's not Nolan North Nathan Drake. But he's, as a live-action movie... I enjoyed Tom Holland. I thought he was pretty darn good in this movie. Sophia Taylor as Chloe was also very good in this movie. I think she nailed the character of Chloe. Her relationship between Nathan Drake, Tom Holland, and their relationship was really good in this movie. It reminded me of the games. Now, it doesn't have that sexual tension it does like in other games, which is fine with me because, again, it's kind of like a prequel movie to the game because it's such a young Nathan Drake and Chloe. So if we get a future franchise... I want to see more of these characters because they're both so good in the role because I think they're really good, honestly, especially she looks just like her. And besides the characters that we do see that we actually love, we do get some pretty solid action. I'm not going to say this is the greatest action scenes I've ever seen, but I think from trying to adapt the game, obviously the plane scene from the game of Uncharted 3, seeing on the big screen... It made me smile. There are things that I didn't love because they tried so hard to copycat it, but I think they did inspire that big adventure over the top action scenes from Uncharted. And I think throughout the entire movie, when the action scenes do happen, they're pretty over the top and fun, exciting. The scene in the very beginning where you got this auction kind of thing, that reminded me of a totally of an action scene that I would see in Uncharted game. And I enjoyed the action scenes. Ruben Fletcher is the director who obviously did Venom, and I'm pretty sure Venom let there be carnage, and he did Zombieland, so everyone's always criticized him for being such a safe director. I'm gonna say he's probably a safe director for this movie. If they do a sequel, I would like to see more flair, more of this franchise, because if they make more, I want a bigger budget. I want bigger action scenes, because Uncharted the video games were so over the top that they just stood out so well. So Ruben Fletcher did a good job for the action scenes. They're entertaining. This movie is entertaining. It's totally watchable, but it's not what could be better. Now, besides those things, guys, unfortunately, a lot of more are cons for this movie, if you ask me. Let's just get this out of the way. Mark Wahlberg as Sully. Okay, okay. There are dialogue moments Mark Wahlberg reminded me of Sully. 
but his character, his entire character is not Sully. That is not the character of Sully. But people I have seen the movie with who do not know the video games at all very much enjoyed Mark Wahlberg and Nathan Drake. They enjoyed these characters together. They like the bickering between each other. And like I said, if I'm not a video game fan, I could honestly say the same thing. I like Mark Wahlberg. I've always liked Mark Wahlberg. He's Mark Wahlberg in this movie. He's enjoyable. He's fun. I I kind of like that they put him in the movie just because he was going to be Nathan Drake at one point. But he's not Sully. That is not Sully. And I did not see Sully. But again... That's a fan point of view. A big fan. People I talked to really liked Mark Wahlberg in this movie. They love them two together. Now when it comes to the villains, just like the video games, I actually have a small issue with the video games. The video games always try to do a backstabbing villain, villain, good character, villain, villain kind of deal. The movie does the same thing. Again, no spoilers of whatsoever of the villain, but they're villains. It works for the plot, the action, the fun of this movie. It's there. It's something you've, this this entire movie is something you've seen before, like National Treasure, Indiana Jones, stuff like that. So for it to be just kind of there, it's there. It's, it's, it's villains. It's evil people trying to stop the good guys. That's your villains. And I'm not going to like hate on it, but it's really just noticeable when they're definitely trying to be like, hey, the video games did it, so we'll do it just like the video game. Because the movie does try to be the video game a lot. Like, the movie starts off showing a scene in the middle of the movie, and then it goes back in time and it shows, like, what happened. So, I like that because Uncharted 2, obviously, the opening scene is him in the train, and then it comes back and shows the whole game. Same thing with this movie, it tries to do that. And I enjoy those things, but again, the movie was missing something. And I think it has something to do with the script. Dialogue-wise, everyone has their moments of the video game like, but the story never fully got me invested. I loved seeing Tom Holland as Nathan Drake going in the tombs, finding these things, doing the puzzles. I like seeing that stuff. I like seeing that vibe of his character. But when it comes to more of just the intrigue of the treasure, the movie really lost me. And all four of those games, their treasures are always integral but again, it's a video game you spend hours playing. It's a two-hour movie. So you really can't nail it perfectly unless you have a really intriguing story plot, which the movie did not. Overall, though, I think people are going to enjoy this movie. I really do. I think a lot of the general audiences go watch it. They're going to be like, oh, it's Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Let's go watch his new big action movie, Uncharted. Well, that looks kind of cool. And hopefully it makes a lot of money. I hope people like this movie. I hope it makes a ton of money because I know this franchise can be so much better. It frustrated me to hell watching this movie sometimes. And I hate doing that because again, I think if I wasn't a fan, I would say this is a really fun action adventure movie, honestly. But as a fan, like I said, I've said a bunch of review, I'm frustrated. And one more little frustration, one little thing, the music, the whole movie is using the game's music but it's redone for the movie. Why? Just play the original score, the music. Just just play it. If I was the director of this movie and I got a person to do the score, I'd be like, okay, you're going to go to the video games, you're going to copy and paste. There's your score. The score of the video games are amazing. And they try to redo it in the movies that's redone. I'm like... You're doing so much. Stop. I know you're trying to please us, but just, just, if you're going to please the fans, just play the freaking score. Just play the music. But no, I mean, minor spoiler, the main score is in the credits. So when I clean movie theaters this weekend, it's going to be cool to hear. But besides that, it's a fine movie. I'm going to give Uncharted a C-. And in all honesty, if I was not a fan of the games, like a diehard fan, I would probably say a B, B- kind of movie. Because again... Everyone who I watched it with said that was awesome. That was a really summer blockbuster kind of movie. It's coming out in February. And you know what? It makes me happy because people who go see it, hopefully it makes money. Because Uncharted is a series that could be such a big, awesome franchise. And this was not a great start, if you ask me. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this movie review. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.